back in the locker room brought to you by Sprint. And joining us from his world tour to Rome, Italy, our good buddy from the Pittsburgh Sports Report, Tony DeFazio. Tony! How you doing, guys? You look more Italian today. <laughs> right. Well, you look I, less Charles Manson. Well, that's, you, that's you, always good. That's always good. Yeah. When in Rome, I guess, right? Maybe that's why I look more Italian. How was your trip? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. And I have to say, made a little stop somewhere in uh, ancient oh, Rome. Oh, baby, you didn't. Got What'd a you little, get him? little present back here for you guys. Oh, from Look the Coliseum? Right off the floor, guys. Right Yankee off the floor. Oh. The Coliseum. I don't know where. And I, I don't know. That's not for you. Sure it is. He told me. He said for the guys. He said he was getting me something. There it is, man. What did you say? For both of us or just Don't you remember Maximus takes the sand from the Coliseum and he rubs it around? Oh, yeah. Then he gets up and slays guys. So you're Maximus. Well, I have a Maximus. I have a four-year-old Maximus. Yeah, that's that, that, that comes from watching That's that movie right. way too many you times. You watch. He goes in the backyard. He rubs dirt. Just yeah, like, just no, like beautiful. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you can have the... the Thank you. Very much. <laughs> no you problem. Very it. cool. That, that was very considerate of you, Tony. So you had a good time. <laughs> a very good time. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You talk about sports. Uh -huh. What they did in the Coliseum was pretty intense. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, now that is some extreme <laughs> sports. Sir. Glad of you. Yeah, would not have liked to have. Well, you know, you didn't get to talk about your loss afterward. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have to face the mics. You did not have to do that. No doubt. <laughs> Gave the whole idea of sudden death a new meaning. A whole new meaning. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was bad. Oh. All right. Well, speaking of gladiators, let's talk about the uh, America's version of the gladiators, the National Football League. Uh, one of the stories that we've been following here is uh, Michael Vick and, and his... Uh, dog fighting uh, escapades. Uh, so if you're the Atlanta Falcons, and by the way, uh, dog fighting uh, promotion is a felony in the state of Virginia. Uh, what do you do with Michael Vick as you're heading into the season? What move do you make? I mean, should they have seen this coming? I mean, I think yeah. that's maybe the one thing you have to point out. I, yeah. I don't know that they, you know, they just got rid of Matt Schaub right. you know, last year, so I don't know that they have a whole lot of options. Tell them what you said. Oh, come on. Tell them what you said before the show. <laughs> Why? Tell them what you well, said. Well, you know, we were talking, we were kibitzing in the green room, right? And, I, and he says, well, what happens if Vic gets canned? You yeah. know what I mean? If they put him in the Hooskow. I said, oh, that's no problem. They got uh, Schwab or Schaub or whatever his name was. And he goes, he got moved back in February. I said, when that happen? <laughs> Uh, uh, and they're so, asking the same thing, so, you know, right. do we still so, have him? I mean, this guy looks like, you know, I used to, everyone used to criticize his brother. Right, right. It looked like maybe Michael Vick was doing a lot of the same things and just yes. not getting caught. Yeah. You know, I mean, this guy looks like a, a scumbag. Yeah. Doesn't he? So, uh, well, I'll say, when a Vick do his do you, Vick so, so, so now, do you know, let, okay, right. now here's I'm the question. Here's the, here's, the, here's, the, here's the question. I apologize. Yeah, but you don't have any dirt he from this house. He, you don't have any dirt from this I followed you, too. It just wasn't funny. Well, actually, it was funny, but on the outside, I'm trying to keep my composure inside i'm doing flip-flops i'm hysterical i'm laughing so hard uh do you let do you allow due process or do you it, it, and bobby petrino's talked about look you've got a straight remember he said to him yeah. when he came there in the off season i'm just concerned i want to know how committed you are um got to you know, committed basically could say be the key word stay, here. stay out of bit. trouble do you uh do you make a move now uh what does he got one year does he have one year left on his contract he's uh, he, I, I i this yeah. is his last year i yeah. believe it is right yeah you know what i, I mean roger goodall has made such a um an emphasis on taking care of these problems i think the falcons are in a decent position that they right. can sit back and say you know we warned him the commissioner has has, has also talked very very openly about and, and has made examples of people about what he wants to do you know to sure up the behavior of the players in the league i think they're in a position where they can sit back and let the nfl step in if if they need to that's taking the easy way out a little bit mm -hmm. but uh you know again brand new coach yeah we think mike tomlin has a lot on his plate yeah. holy cow and uh well think about it. this girl could be a mute point if uh you know yeah. if uh, if well, yeah. that too. Yeah. Or whatever. But, you know, if the uh, law steps in oh, yeah. that's good. and, that's good you know, they too. throw the hammer down, hey, then everybody's off the well, hook. Well, if, if you're, uh, Petrino, you've got uh, an interesting shoot down. They, uh, the Falcons signed uh, Joey Harrington in the offseason. Uh, they do have D.J. Shockley, who they said last yeah. year did not get a snap uh, as a rookie, but uh, very, very impressed with him. And they uh, brought Chris Redman out of the mothballs, who played uh, for him, Petrino, uh, Louisville. Uh, Louisville. So they, they Redmond from Baltimore. No, no. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, Redmond from Louisville. But he played his college ball at Louisville. Yeah. yeah. All right, sticking with our football theme, uh, there's some ugliness happening uh, 
uh, in this war of there worlds. There was every day when you walked in the locker room. <laughs> I'm real sorry. ugly. Hey, look, happened. hey, did you let? Did you have you looked at yourself in the mirror? You're I no, try not. You're to. no box of chocolates <laughs> yourself. Anyway, speaking of ugly, that's my wife. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I, that just that affirms one thing to me that uh, that God did make someone for everyone. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, getting back to our, our, our original thing, um, a lot of ugliness happening between re the retired players association and the NFL players association. Uh, uh, the uh, there's been a real grassroots swell of support uh, for uh, the old timers saying that the pension's not what it should be. A lot of shots have been aimed at uh, Gene. I Hunter. agree. Uh, Gene has <laughs> uh, has made some comments uh, that I think he'd re like to have retaken, and, and uh, uh, one of them was that I don't represent the older players. And and kind of the one of the slogans of the NFL Players Association: commitment to the past, the present, and the future. And that's what guys are saying. Hey, Gene, might have wanted to pull a mulligan out on that one. So guys have been uh, trying to mobilize and, and to, in essence to get Gene fired. Well, it starts out. Uh, Ditka says uh, makes some comments about Upshaw and uh, Upshaw retaliates. I was at the Hall of Fame before Gene, but here it's in, in the in the Saturday night light Saturday night live vein. Uh, Ditka versus Upshaw, who wins? <laughs> well, first of all, is it a life size Ditka or is it a six inch <laughs> Ditka? All right, that's what I want to know. <laughs> I'm not putting my money on anybody yeah. but Ditka in a battle with, oh. you know, with Ditka. Yeah. I mean, holy yeah. mackerel. Yeah. Yeah. Ditka. Uh, even right now, I got Ditka. Yeah, yeah. Right? Ditka. Uh, so <laughs> Joe D., Joe DeLamalier, your buddy. Right. Uh, Joe, your Joe De DeLamalier has said publicly, I want to get Gene Upshaw fired. He's not doing enough for the NFL players, the retired guys, the old guys. And uh, Upshaw set, retaliates by saying, what do you think, I'm going to have him for dinner? No, I want to break his damn neck is what he said. And so uh, uh, Joe D. responds, I'm afraid for my life. But it had to be tongue in cheek because oh, Joe D is no a question. tough guy. Yeah. Joe D, when he was uh, Joe D versus Upshaw, who wins? The question to me would be Joe D versus Ditka. Yeah. Now we got a now battle. Now we're talking tough Because Joe D's got what they call the log. He yeah. don't have a forehead. He's got a five head <laughs> yeah. out there, brother. And I'll tell you this. He actually boxed after he retired, right. played arena ball after he retired. Uh -huh. He is one of the highest conditioned guys you're ever going to meet. He was like Webby. You yeah. know I mean? He was a guy that just... Trained hard. Uh, now, he wasn't the greatest boxer in the world. Yeah, he said right. he was really good at blocking punches right. with his face. <laughs> but with a five head, then you can do those sorts of things. <laughs> five, how, how about this? At, at 56 years old, he bench pressed two and a quarter, 27 times. Well, there's wow. guys in the combine that go. can do that. Right. Right. Unbelievable. Good point. All right. Question to you. Randy Moss, uh, first uh, press Dicka? conference this week. No, no. Randy oh. Moss versus <laughs> Belichick. Randy Moss in New England. Does he help that team? Is he uh, is he a good camper, or does he sell, it help that team implode? I, I hate myself for saying this. Yes. I think he's going to help that team. I, I mean, hate you too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I this is very funny. A couple of weeks ago, before he you know rude. before they made the trade, <laughs> I was telling one of our interns, yeah. this guy's awful. He's not. He's no longer a good wide receiver. All of a sudden, you know, he ends up in uh, New England, and, and it's such a different situation. I think if you know they can, and again, it's the same situation everywhere with him. If they can keep him in line, right. but I think uh, I think he might keep himself in line at least for a little bit here. I, this year, I think he helps him. Yeah, yeah. I would be interesting to see if Belichick is singing that Joan Jett song. I hate myself for <laughs> signing you. Yeah, yeah. You know, or he is actually, you know, he comes. Up, everybody can reload. Uh, uh, Owens, he proved he can, you know, shut for the yapper and 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 play for the good year. citizen. And he did Citizen it for, exactly for one year. For one year. In Philly, so yeah. one year of of a Randy Moss is the Mad Bomber. I mean, yeah, he could do it. Randy Randy Moss played uh, golf with Belichick uh, last week, so I'm uh, I'm very interested in uh, how that plays out. He, you know, I think you've got a one year grace period. He did say, "I'm not changing my ways." He said that uh, in right. the press conference this past week. I'm not changing my ways, and I really don't want to talk to you guys, uh, meaning the media. And then he left. So, uh, you uh, in media. speaking of arena, <laughs> speaking of arena football, how about this? Lincoln Kennedy came out of retirement. No, three he years didn't. in retirement. He's playing in the in the arena football league at 36 years old. How can he fit his? I was going to say at what Keister weight? That's what yeah. I want to hear. What's he? What the? Is, did they invent a new position? He's, nah. he's like nose tackle. He's like six eight three oh, seven. Oh yeah, he or said something. he wanted to play 12 years. He came back for one year. Has a new respect for the arena football league. Well. New football league uh, supposedly starting in fall of 2008. The United Football League, uh, Mark Cuban is going to be an owner. Uh -oh. the, can we uh, field another football league after the XFL, the 
USFL and the World Football League all now defunct. Is Cuban going to try to steal players from the NFL? Yes, Are they going to come said. in like the USFL yes, he did. did? Yes, he did. The USFL was a legitimate league for a couple yeah, of years. Right. This ain't an arena team? No, no. This is legitimate football. It's like the XFL. They're going to pattern it after. The only, only thing is they're going to do it in, in the fall on Friday nights. Now, wow. here, here's, the, here's the thing that makes it kind of interesting. I could make a uh, What the USFL did not have was cable, yeah. uh, internet, and satellite. So uh, it'll be interesting. Friday Night Football. Mark Cuban. I put my money on Mark Cuban signing Ricky Williams, yeah. by the way. All right, we're going to take a break. <laughs>